Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 8th, 2021. Well, last week we had a beautiful relief rally after some morning pressure that probably had everyone um, really wondering what was going to occur, but those bulls finally came in and surged back dramatically on Friday. Unfortunately, we still have some questions yet to be answered. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. That rally back on Friday was wonderful to see that relief coming into the market. But we still have some questions left behind. First off, we left behind hammer patterns all over the market. There are huge hammer patterns all over the place in the market. Unfortunately, there's a couple things that we have to know about hammer patterns. A hammer pattern requires a follow through. Without a follow through, the hammer pattern really isn't valid. So question number one, can we follow through today, pushing on through to the upside? Um, can we get that done? And um, although we got 1.9 trillion stimulus on the way with the Senate passing um, the bill this weekend, um, after the House makes another procedural vote on um, the bill, money will start to flow um, relatively quickly. But that also creates another concern. Um, bond rates are rising. So that's one of the things that caused um, all the stress here in the market to begin with, um, inflation. And will that $1.9 trillion be able to paper over um, the worries or concerns about rising inflation? Kind of an interesting situation that we're dealing with. Now let's take a look at the technicals in the chart. Technically, technically speaking, I got to say, the Dow did a really good job. Um, in the Dow index, there's very little um, technical damage here. Clearly, we did test the 50-day moving average, but we bounced off of that significantly, and we pushed right back up into trend. So we're trying to show some bullishness this morning, but the question still remains, can we push through that level and then yet still deal with this high up here? Remember, we've got to get over those highs before we can actually say that our trend um, continues to hold. Remember, trends require higher highs and higher lows. And we had this new low, notice that with this was a low, and then we went on down and went lower. So we've had that new low, we need to break through this up here, make sure we can hold, and then show that we have that ability to push on through to the upside. So technically speaking, we're in pretty good shape here on the diamonds, but there is still that little bit of control that we are concerned that we have to watch for um, so keep a close eye on this resistance level today if we can actually push on through. If we can, awesome. If we can't, that'll be the problem. And once we push through, remember, we have to prove to be able to hold. We, you can push through a level and then still fail at that price action. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY raises a little bit more question. SPY has a couple of things in here to deal with. Now, certainly, this was a beautiful move. Um, we bounced back up. We recovered on, by the end of Friday. We recovered that 50-day moving average. But let's notice here that we're not out of the woods yet. And that 50-day moving average um, is going to likely serve as some price resistance in the chart. So we'll want to consider that area right in here. Um, as a concern. Now, if we can push on through, and you can see this morning we're trying to hold on to um, this price action, but we're seeing just a little tiny bit of pushback here on the futures this morning with those rising bond rates. We're going to have some worries here to deal with. First off, let's go back to a chart with no drawings on it, and let's draw up this trend right here. And notice that we still have to recover above that trend break. 
So we've got a little resistance level that's set up right in here. And you can see the little price resistance right in there set up. That will be an interesting challenge for those bulls. And then if we draw this little downtrend, we have this little accumulated resistance area right here that could be rather challenging for the market to push through. It's going to be critical though. It's going to be very critical if we are going to recover that we need to get above that and prove to hold. Because if we run into that resistance and turn around and fail, that would suggest another lower high and the possibility of a retest of that low or even a lower low could come into play. So keep a close eye on that. That 50 day moving average could be really critical here in the chart, but watch those price levels. Then let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ, the weakest of the bunch and probably the biggest concern that we have here. We're no, we know that tech sector stocks are struggling hard with um, rising bond rates. And you can see in this chart that we've got a lot of technical damage. First, we've broken the downtrend. We have made lower highs and lower lows in this chart, putting in a, a full on downtrend um, in, in place. We have price resistance, as you can see, right through here, price resistance that we still need to break above. Notice we did ha leave a nice little um, hammer pattern here on the QQQ on Friday but we're not showing some follow through this morning. Notice that we're showing a little bit of bearishness here this morning. We need to be able to push on through. So we've got to deal with this price resistance in the chart. We need to break above that downtrend and hold, and then we could be um, copacetic. Everything could start showing signs of recovery um, coming back up. But if we continue this failure, if we cannot, with rising bond rates, get this going, it is possible the QQQ could just consolidate in a very choppy range right in here and then still seek a downside move. So watch that closely. Um, there's a lot of questions to be answered here yet in the NASDAQ. Then let's take a look, and by the way, we are um, significantly below our 50-day moving average. Any rally back into that area will not only be challenged by price action, but will also be challenged by that 50-day um, moving average. Keep in mind, we still have on this chart in play a head and shoulders topping pattern. So a rally back in here could certainly send us right back down here toward that 200, so watch that close. Then let's take a look at our IWM. IWM is also holding up quite well, and with crude prices rising here this morning, that may help um, um, IWM push on through. We left a nice hammer pattern behind. Keep in mind that we have a bit of a resistance level in a couple places in there that we need to get back above and we still have this modest downtrend in play here so we need to deal with these price resistance levels get through that and hold and then we could be in good shape now keep in mind i don't want to see it occur but if we fail if we're unable to break through here don't rule out the possibility that today, tomorrow, next day, we could see a retest of these lows. Um, remember, uh, double bottoms are not uncommon. So a push down into there could be in the cards yet. Watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX had a great pullback with that beautiful uh, rally on Friday. Nice little pullback, but let's kind of keep in mind we haven't broken this little uptrend um, in that chart. And at the end of the day, we pretty much held on to price support in there. So if those bulls can come in and really defend and push these hammer patterns on through today, there's that possibility that we could break on down and break through that. Um, support in the VIX. However, if those bears fight back, and I do expect those bears to be a little bit more tenacious than they have been, they got some work done and some technical damage made in these charts, so now they want to defend. And if they defend in here and we hold this area, just kind of keep in mind, um, that's where some serious selling could begin if 
they cannot hold these lows. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now, we don't have a whole lot going on here on today's economic calendar, and that is nice. Um, we'll want to, oh, you know what? I forgot. Give me just a second. I forgot to mention T2122, and we do need to look at that because T2122 has been helping us out quite a bit. Um, T2122 helped me, at least in right way options, to call some long trades um, on uh, the, on the end of at about the Thursday on the close of Thursday, and then we picked up um, some more trades um, um, on Friday that finished the day very very bullish um, nicely profitable but we were down here in this bearish zone and then we suddenly shot back up so t2122 gives us an interesting picture here today in that we do have upside potential but notice how far we've gone to um, cover that big move up that we may be back into a short-term overbought situation pretty quickly if we continue to rally. Let's also make note that we have opened a big potential door to the downside. If those bears come in and attack, there's that possibility that we could still slip, so watch that close. Then if we look at our um, calendar today, we really don't have anything in here um, to be uh, particularly worried about. We do have some short-term bill auctions. Um, we know that the FOMC has got those covered, so probably not much to worry about there. And honestly, we have a relatively light week on the calendar. Notice that we're going to have CPI in here, those jobless claims, those pesky weekly claims and then um, the PPI final. So not a whole lot in here on that um, economic calendar to really create a lot of uh, problems for the market. So we'll, we'll just wanna keep an eye on that, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too rough of a week on that calendar. Now on the earnings calendar, we have um, 68 or so companies reporting earnings today but our notables are really starting to shrink. Um, not, not nearly as many notables as we have had here um, recently. So let's take a look at a few of those. Um, today, um, CASY, Casey's General Store, will be reporting today. And they've got a nice bullish pattern in this chart. Notice a nice little pullback holding that trend and support. Bullish if we can get good um, results on those earnings reports. Um, that could pu just push right on up. There's actually a pretty decent little buy pattern right here on Casey's. Watch that close. TACO, Del Taco will be reporting today. And as you can see, holding up in a nice little upside trend. There we go, showing bullishness, trying to break these uh, oil above new highs and holding in there nicely, actually a nice little potential buy pattern showing up in here. So watch for that bullish action on those results. Uh, BNFT, FT, BNFT will be reporting today. We'll wanna keep an eye on that. Um, holding in this nice little trend, um, cut some su price support in here. So we have a rather bullish pattern if those bulls, if we get a good report and that could push on through. We have um, NCMI. NCMI. Now this one here, a little bit more of a challenge. Not, It is bullish in the short term here, moving in the upside and we've got some support in here, but this may have a little bit more challenge and notice our price action is pretty whippy in here. So it may not be the best and being a little guy, um, it was kind of questionable whether I should put it on the on the list or not today, but there it is. How about SFIX? SFIX, we'll want to keep an eye on. Um, retail has been really, really strong here um, recently. And if we can hold in this pattern, hold that trend, there is that opportunity that Stitch Fix could move on higher. Um, NIU is another one you want to keep an eye on. NIU. Now this has started a little bit of problem here, breaking down through that support and breaking that trend. So we'll want to watch that this morning. And the last I have on the list is PVAC. 
um, to keep an eye on. So watch that one. This is very, very bullish, very strong, pushing up into some price resistance levels in the chart, as you can see. We'll want to see if that can push on through this morning. Oil and gas, obviously very, very strong here in the market um, at the moment. So keep a close eye. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos and um, you are getting some benefit out of these please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be worthy if you could do me a favor as well just click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment we have a lot of folks that watch the video that don't actually um, leave comments um, and i understand that it's kind of a pain in the neck but if you get the time um, please do that it helps the channel to grow and I just want to say thanks to everyone who does take the time to do that also if you notice below the title of the video there is a link where if you want to support the channel um, um, feel free to click that link you can buy me a coffee and I don't actually buy coffee with that those are those funds will actually go to improving the channel adding more content and equipment so that I can do a better job on the channel so um, thank you so much for those just a huge shout out to those who have used that link and um, I truly truly appreciate it you guys are awesome let's take a look at the stock setting up now keep in mind we could have a very volatile day and I would expect volatility to remain considerably high over the next several um, several days as the bulls and bears duke it out for control, um, particularly if we continue to see those bond rates rising. Let's take a look here at some of these stocks, though, that are looking pretty good. Take a look at Starbucks. Now, Starbucks has struggled around here with this resistance high, but notice we've got this little uptrend, and this is a nice little controlled pullback. Even though we had that tremendous volatility of the market, Starbucks really held in there quite well. It didn't sell off all that strongly. So if we can get some bullishness coming in here, I'd keep an eye on Starbucks for that opportunity that could pop and maybe break through that resistance to the upside and, and get going here. So keep an eye on that. Looking pretty darn good. Take a look at Disney. Now Disney um, is another one that just didn't really pull back much at all. Um, during all of this selling. Notice we held in here, just chopped around and we're moving over here toward this trend. We have this beautiful breakout of price in here and we know Disney streaming service is doing very, very well. So watch this in here and see if we can catch that rally to the upside. Um, pretty nice looking chart. I also think we need to keep an eye on some of these automakers. Uh, Ford continuing to hold up in this pattern. You can see my drawings here. I'm actually in this position. So once again, I wanna report, the, I mean, and let everyone know that I probably have a bias on this, but I'm holding this trade. It's looking pretty good and we'll wanna watch that um, for that continuation. Now, please keep in mind, I'm holding this as a longer term hold and I will not rule out the possibility that this could just bounce around Around in here and go sideways for a while um, sliding on over to trend but watching that closely I like the chart I think it's looking pretty good let's take a look at um, GM now GM is also in one of those patterns where we've just been kind of sliding sideways here notice that we're getting ready to connect with this larger trend in the chart and with the bullishness that we see in the market here um, lately when it comes to um, companies doing electric vehicles gm could really start to perk up because gm's kind of leading that in the old big giants um, kind of leading that move um, for those evs so watch that closely could start perking up and making some moves um, in that chart. Let's take a look at um, Valero Energy. Now Valero has been holding up really, really well, moving up strongly. And if oil sector stocks are going to, going to continue to move up, if we're going to recover in this re economy, then we're going to need more refining 
um, likely um, in the market. So keep an eye on this. We're pushing a resistance level in the chart. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this continue to rest or consolidate out here sideways and then potentially move on through in that chart. So watch that closely. Could be upside opportunity there. I'm going to jump over just really quickly to a longer term thought process here. First off, take a look at Mo on the daily. Notice I've been mentioning this as a potential longer term trade. And one of the things we've seen when the market gets a little bit funky here is a, um, a lot of rotation is starting to begin into these big divvy pairs. Um, so keep an eye on that. But Altria, Altria, rallying up nicely and on this weekly chart my goodness that is a beautiful upside move popping through that downtrend looking great um, i've been talking about this one for a while we've got nice profits in this trade so you might want to keep an eye on that one you might also want to consider 3m now i picked up some 3m and i added to my position in 3m notice this beautiful downside uh, downtrend break and this hold, beautiful little bullish pattern here where we're holding into that price and moving up again, a nice divvy pair starting to perk up in the chart. Now, this trade isn't quite ready for prime time yet, particularly on the weekly chart, but we saw a major surge last week in AT&T. Let's take a quick look at that daily first. There was that big surge back up, and this is just one of those things where some of these big divvy pairs are starting to perk up in the charts. Keep an eye on that. AT&T could be one of those that could come out here um, soon if we break through and hold and then have that opportunity maybe to push on higher. So watch that close um, AT&T coming around um, in the chart. So there's a few um, stocks for you to consider to think about. Um, some I would I would really take a look at um, some of those defensive sectors right now. They're really starting to turn around and come back up. It may be something um, worth watching um, because if we are going to get a little bit scary in the market, and right now Dow futures are back down 55 points, um, if, if we start to get spooked, we could see a lot of these um, conservative stocks um, kicking up. So. Um, watch that close. Watch that close. Be careful, guys. Plan carefully. Don't just rush in with the total buy the dip uh, mentality here. That works until all of a sudden it doesn't. And if you've been chasing that buy the dip here recently, you've been getting punished pretty heavily in your accounts. Be careful with that. Um, I'm not exactly sure those bears are going to give up as easy as they have before. So watch carefully. With that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you very, very great results in your trading, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.